chemistry, of course, but continental crust and oceanic crust are on top of the mantle. Now, if we zoom out a little bit and look from a more distance, okay, then there is the mantle, which has a very important discontinuity at this level, and the top part of the mantle is called the lithosphere. So this white layer here is mantle, but it is much stronger than the mantle below it, and therefore works together with the continental and the oceanic crust to form this strong plate. So every time we talk about these plates, then we remember how we develop this idea of the strength versus depth. being like this. You have seen this picture many times now. And if you have a strength in this fashion, then you form plates. There is the top part of the Earth which is stronger, and then within this lithosphere, okay, there are several other layers. There can be a sub-layer in the crust, and so forth, and so forth. But this major layering is really a first order, big, big property of the outside of the Earth. And this is what allows the plates to, be, to have their own identity and to move around. Now, the movement of the plates is driven by things that happen below them. The mantle is a very dynamic um, very dynamic part of the earth of course it is an enormous mass of rocks so from the center of the earth there is the, out, the inner core 1100 kilometers then there is another 2400 kilometer the outer core and then there is the mantle very very thick about 3000 kilometers thick <coughs> 